Hello beautiful friends, my name is Brittany. Welcome back or welcome to Rescues and Reads. Today I am so excited because I'm bringing you an unboxing of a new or new to me bookish subscription box. It is from Authentic Books and I'm really excited to share it with you. I haven't opened the box yet. I have just cut the tape so it's going to be a complete surprise to me everything but the book and I'll get into that in a second. But first if you see my hair looking like this in the next few videos it is because I had it braided at the Ren Fair. You're not really going to be able to see because most of the braiding is in the back but I'm not touching this for several days. I'm going to make it last as long as possible so if I have this hairstyle for several videos that is why. Alright now let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the box. I'm always on the lookout for great bookish subscription services that fulfill the needs that I'm looking to satisfy. A lot of the bookish subscription boxes out there I have tried but I've never really stuck with and the reason for that is because first of all a lot of the books that I'm sent I'm not really interested in because a lot of the bookish subscription services they don't let you choose the books that you're going to receive and a lot of them actually fill their book boxes with items that are cheaply made, they're not really very good quality, or they're not even very usable items. They're just things that are going to sit around your home building clutter, and I really don't like that. So a lot of the times now, if I opt to do a bookish subscription, it's like the book only, if that is an option. I choose not to get any items in the box. However, when I was searching recently for a bookish subscription service that I hadn't tried yet, I came across Authentic Books, and there were several things that stood out to me about this subscription service. First of all, you actually get to choose the book that you are receiving. So every single month when it's time, they let you select from three new releases. So in some ways, it's similar to Book of the Month, which I think is fantastic. I like to be surprised by book boxes as much as anyone. I really do, especially if I know that it's going to be something that might push me outside of my comfort zone. But when the boxes that you're receiving, more than not, you're really not interested in the books, it kind of becomes a waste of money at that point, and especially if the books just sit on your TBR and you're really not interested in reading them. So I really love that they allow you to choose the book that you are receiving. For the most part, it's going to be hardcovers, but if the book is not being released in hardcover, it's only being released in paperback, they will actually include more goodies in the box to compensate for the fact that you are getting a paperback. Now let's talk about the goodies because the entire purpose of this box is it's a self-care box. So all of the items in the box are based around the five senses. So for sight, you have the book. And for sound, you're going to get a custom Spotify playlist. So if you like listening to music while you read, this would be perfect because the Spotify playlist is made with this book in mind. For smell, you're going to get a hand-poured candle. For touch, you're going to get a full-size beauty self-care item. And then for taste, you're going to get an item related to cocktails, coffee, or tea, depending on what you choose. Also included in every box are bookmarks inspired by the box, recipe cards inspired by the book, and 5% of the proceeds of the box goes towards children's educational funds. So what I really love about this box is that all of the items that you are getting in it are supposed to be usable in some form or fashion. They're not meant to just sit around cluttering your home. Another thing that I love about this box is that there are levels to the subscription. So let me go through it really quick. If you get the mini experience, you of course get the book, you get the candle, you get one full-sized beauty self-care item, you get the Spotify playlist, and then of course the bookmark, the recipe cards, and the 5% donated to educational projects. You don't actually get the taste item unless you bump it up to the full experience, at which point you will get the choice of premium full size tea, coffee, or craft cocktail items. And of course the cocktail items are not going to actually be a cocktail. They're going to be like a cocktail mixer or things like that. And then you will actually get two touch items in this box. So you will get two of the beauty slash self-care items. And then you can also upgrade that to a premium experience where you will get two taste items and three touch items. So I really just love that they allow you different levels of the service depending on what you want, what your budget is, what you are looking for. So there were so many things that really, really intrigued me about this box and I had to go ahead and give it a try. So my first order was for the November book and they ship at the very last week of the month. So I only just now received my November book. I also have December's on order as well as a special holiday edition that hopefully will be coming in December and I will also be able to do an unboxing of that for you as well. But without further ado, Let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing. Okay, so here's the box. Let me just go ahead and open it really quick. Oh, we already had something fall out. So I'm just gonna be very, very careful. Ooh, the inside of it is lovely. Look at that rose artwork. That is beautiful. Okay, let's see what we got. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go ahead and just mention the book that I picked since I already know what it is because the first thing that fell out was the author's note and that is for The Rewind. That is the book that is selected by Alison Winscotch. So we'll get into that in just a second. Then we have that tassel bookmark that comes based on the book. There's a quote that says, Perhaps when you told yourself a story long enough, often enough, you tricked your mind into believing that it was true. And then here is the back of it. So there is going to be a bookmark 
in the box no matter what book you chose but that bookmark is going to correlate to the book so I would be interested to see if anybody else picked something different and what their bookmark looked like and then it looks like we have a little spoiler booklet here about everything included in the box so I'll take a flip through of that once I've actually unboxed everything all right and then the very first thing that I pulled out was the candle it looks like it's actually made by authentic books and it says that it is a four and a half ten pour candle 100% soy wax and eco wick burn time 25 hours which I love and it's like got this really nice cardboard packaging which I appreciate so let me open it up and see what it is okay so here it is it says 1999 vintage which is great because that's actually when the book is set so let me smell what it is okay that's very light smell I'm getting actually hints of bubble gum I don't know if that's what I'm actually smelling but that's kind of what I'm getting and it says that the scent is sweet bubbly so that's really cool it's like high quality glass four ounces and it's supposed to have a burn time of 25 hours so i'm excited about this Ooh, and then this next item is petty in a box glimmer five step unicorn peach with organic olive oil and peach extract it includes sea salt soak mud mask sugar scrub cooling gel mask Ooh, okay so this is the little self-care item that's lovely Okay, so that's really fun. I'm excited to dive into that. Sundays are typically my bath night. I try to like pamper myself with a bath once a week if I can. So I'm excited to give this a try. That's fun. That's awesome. Ooh. Okay, so I chose coffee for my taste. And so I got some coffee. It is 100% ground gourmet Columbia beans infused with cinnamon and topped with vanilla icing. It is cinnamon sticky bun. Ooh, look at that. It's beautifully packed. Ooh, I kind of want to like open it. Ooh, should I open it? Let me see. Oh, oh, that smells good. That that actually smells a little bit like fall. Like I can get the hints of cinnamon in there. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm super excited to give this a try. Okay, so so far so good really really enjoying that because i got the full experience i did get the one taste item and i also get two touch items so there's another self-care item um it's from facetory which i've heard of this brand they do face masks and so this is a light my night illuminating sheet mask it says shine like the moon at night and the stars in the sky this sheet mask features a graphne mask with a brightening fruit infused essence indulge in this refreshing sheet mask and wake up to radiant skin oh okay oh so you're supposed to sleep with this interest no it says leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and let your skin soak in all the nutrients okay perfect because i was like i'm not gonna sleep in this <laughs> so this sounds wonderful i might actually use this with my bath tonight love it oh and then it looks like there's a little bonus item it's got some cards in here it says all in that's fun i actually might add these to my tbr game since that uses cards i already have two decks in there but why not add another one that's cool oh that's right because this was released as a paperback they threw in the bonus item to compensate so like i said the book that i chose the Rewind by Allison Winscotch. It looks like there's a little authentic book seal here. I don't know. Can that be removed? I'm going to try to remove it. Okay. Yes, it did remove pretty nicely. So I actually am going to attempt to read this in December if I can get my hands on it from my library. There is several week long wait, but I feel like this would be the perfect book for New Year's because it's actually set at New Year's. Let me read to you what it's about. When college sweethearts Frankie and Ezra broke up before graduation, they vowed never to speak to each other again. 10 years later, on the eve of the new millennium, they find themselves back on their snowy New England campus for the wedding of mutual friends. Frankie's on the rise as a music manager for the hottest bands of the late 90s, and Ezra's ready to propose to his girlfriend after the wedding. Everything is going to plan. They just have to avoid the chasm of emotions brought up when they inevitably come face to face. But when they wake up in bed next to each other the following morning with Ezra's grandmother's diamond on Frankie's finger, they have zero memory of how they got there or about any of the events that transpired the night before. Now Frankie and Ezra have to put aside old grievances in order to figure out what happened, what didn't happen, and to ask themselves the most troubling question of all, what if they both got it all wrong? in the first time around. I just love the sound of this. This sounds like it's going to be fantastic. And like I said, it is definitely giving me very New Year's vibes. And I would love to be able to read this by the end of the year. I don't know if I'm going to be able to without like actually spending an audible credit, which I don't have any. So I would have to purchase more credits. I don't know if I want to do that for this. But if I can get to this in December, I would absolutely be happy to. And I love the fact that I was able to make this my choice for this box. Okay, so just to recap, we got a lovely candle. I got two touch items. I got that coffee and an additional playing card set because it was a paperback that came to me. I also got the bookmark and then the little booklet, which let me pull it up right now. So inside the booklet, it tells you more about the items that you're getting. It also gives you the scanner for the Spotify playlist. Ooh, and then there's a drink recipe in here for Strawberry Tom Collins. Ooh, okay so I can make my own cocktail. That's cool. It also tells me what I would have gotten in the box had I had a premium subscription instead of the full and what I would have gotten if I had selected cocktail or tea. So if I selected cocktail, I would have gotten strawberry lemon lime syrup, which is a cocktail syrup probably to make this Tom Collins recipe, or I would have gotten white champagne raspberry tea. Oh, so that's cool. And then a recipe. Um, I think 
the name of the recipe is wrong. They say it's a recipe for lemon lavender shortbread cookies, but then they give you a recipe for like mini pizza bagels. So that was probably just an accident, but that is really cool. I really like the addition of this. You get some recipes included in here. You get to know what you would have gotten in the other boxes had you subscribed. So one thing I will mention is that I do not believe that this box is guaranteed vegan. So if you are a vegan such as myself and that's a concern for you, just keep that in mind. If I ever get a touch or a taste item that is not vegan, I will obviously not be partaking in it, but I would be happy to pass it along. I was just taking a look at the petty in a box just to see what it says. And it actually does say vegan and clean right there. And it also says that the this is uh, post-consumer recycled material, which I love. So another good thing that I'm seeing about this box is that it sounds like they do make an effort to be somewhat sustainable, which I really appreciate. And I'm just going to keep my eye on some of the ingredients. And if I can't use it or eat it, that's totally fine. Like I said, there are plenty of other people out there that would be happy to use it. I am just really glad to have found a box that allows me to choose the book and provide items that I can't actually use if they are vegan. They're not going to just sit around my house gathering dust. So, so far, I think that this is a fantastic box. I am super excited to be getting that December special edition holiday box as well as December's box, which will be coming in January. And I will do an unboxing of that in January. If you are potentially interested in subscribing to this box, I will go ahead and leave their link down below. I am not affiliated with them in any way. I was just really pleased to have found the subscription service and I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. If I had to choose a favorite item from this box, I think it would definitely be the coffee. It's like cinnamon vanilla and I am excited to give it a try. So that would be my favorite. Please comment down below and let me know what your favorite from this month's box is. And please also let me know what some of your favorite bookish subscription services are. Maybe there are some out there like this one that I had never heard of before now. I hope that I was able to bring this one to your attention if you hadn't already heard of it. I have heard literally nobody else talk about this box. And so I wanted to go ahead and bring it to your attention if you were not already aware of it. All right, y'all, that is it for me in this video. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, because I would sure love to see you in my next video. Bye guys.